Good afternoon, everyone. I'm here at RadFest 2022. Uh, today's an exciting day. We have over 900 people uh, attending, and we are getting ready for lunch, but we have one other guest here, uh, Dr. Or, uh, Dr. Uh, Johnny Adams. Not a doctor. Uh, he has been working on the aging problem for four decades. Four decades. So um, has talked to a lot of doctors and has a broad network of doctors in the gerontology research group. And he also runs the Aging uh, Foundation. In intervention aging, Foundation. Aging Intervention Foundation. But particularly active in the Age Reversal Network. Age Reversal Very Network. Very vital organization. So his, his mission is directly aligned with Ageless Partners. Uh, our mission is to take a nine-year-old and make them 21. Very simple. Mm -hmm. So this is, uh, this is our What is Aging uh, webinar series. Um, so we talk about what is aging, how we age, why we age, and the most important part, how to reverse it. So what, yeah. are, what are your thoughts? Why, why do we age? Uh, and what are your thoughts on those questions? Well, it, it, thanks. I don't spend a lot of time on academic questions like why we age, but it's just the gradual, sometimes a very rapid disintegration, entropy, uh, disease, and death. It's, it's very undesirable. Yes. My question is, well, what, what can we do about it? How can we solve it? And to stay in great condition, particularly Right now, I'm just going for open-ended life. Healthy, of course. Yes, we want to pro prolong good years, not bad years. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. What do you think are kind of the key um, in the near term or things that exist today to slow down or reverse the aging process? Oh, good question, because I deal in two types of things. The first type is things we can do today to just keep us in as good a condition as possible I call them the usual suspects, you know, it really starts with the foundation of uh, conventional medicine, you know, your, your regular medical checkups, great nutrition, exercise, stress reduction, things like dental care, reducing risks. Then yes. you start getting into um, nutritional supplements. Uh, then what I get into different pharmacological uh, solutions that are only available typically via prescription. Sometimes offshore you get your metformin, rapamycin, desatinib, senolytics, GDF-11. I call them the usual suspects. In my estimation, prove, you're welcome to prove me wrong, in my estimation we'll get a few more great years out of them, but uh, I'm going for open-ended life. So that takes us to the other side of what I work on, which is truly intervening in the underlying mechanisms of aging. I think of two things as being at the top tier. One is gene editing and gene therapy. Yes. And the other is um, uh, resetting the epigenome to a more youthful state. We also often call that cellular reprogramming. And I'm working on initiatives in those arenas as well. Sounds very similar to like Autos Labs work and um, oh, yeah. Ajax a little bit. I love what they're all doing. Nice. Very exciting. Nice. So if we can do uh, CRISPR gene editing and cellular reprogramming at that point with those two technologies, uh, how far do you think that'll get us? I mean, from, from our goal, isn't that all? Well, a long, long way. And as you well know, you're, you're a professional, you're, you're immersed in this. Aging is complicated. For example, it's very important that we stay in great condition and we, we maintain, for example, muscle mass, organ mass, uh, brain mass, bone, and even like our interstitial tissue, our fascia has important, um, it doesn't just hold us together, it has uh, important management components as well. So. In short, anything and everything we can do, uh, you know, I'm doing it certainly Absolutely. with an eye on uh, helping develop uh, these these uh, cellular reprogramming and uh, gene therapies for the future, which I believe ultimately, if we can stay young enough, uh, long enough, those and maybe a few others we haven't discovered yet will be the holy grail and. Uh, keep us going as, as long as life is interesting. And I don't know about you, but I could make life very interesting for a very long time. 
Oh, absolutely. And I, I think, you know, those two technologies alone, if we can refine those, develop them further, expand on them, and really figure out what are the other enabling technologies that are going to make those very receptive to our biology, uh, I think we're going to see things that are going to blow people's minds. I mean, you think about even, uh, I was just talking to Dr. Ian White, uh, you have the two jellyfish. One of them's immortal, yeah. one of them's not. And you can yeah. compare their genomes, uh, and you could, in theory, edit the genome with CRISPR of the jellyfish that's not immortal and change it into the one that is immortal. Um, right. So I think just that experiment on its own, we're going to know <laughs> and we're going to make discoveries very quickly now and figure this out. Um, but obviously it's, it's the long path. Um, mm -hmm. But I think <laughs> it sounds like some of the stuff you're working on is very intertwined for sure. Well, it is. And please, any, anyone who wants to partner with me on this mission, uh, I call it uh, I call it a star shot. I mean, moonshot's been there, done there. <laughs> star shots are a lot harder. But scientists with a truly innovative technology, cellular reprogramming or resetting the epigenome to a, to a more youthful state, or uh, gene editing, gene therapy, or something else that's really innovative and really a breakout strategy that'll get us a lot more healthy years. Please contact me. Also, if you want to help in any other way, uh, please contact me. Absolutely. No, a well, oh, website, agingintervention.org. Agingintervention.org, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, our, our viewers will look you up for sure. Thanks a lot. R really appreciate it, Johnny. Thanks a lot. Thanks for, thanks for doing this. Thanks for your great work. Absolutely. I really appreciate you. Oh, you too. Thank you. All right. <laughs>